I'm honored to be here with my colleagues who are current and former members of the Canadian Parliament. And one of my colleagues is going to address you as well, so I'll be brief because you don't need more speeches. And in fact, I was trying to think what I could tell you that you hadn't already heard. All of the grisly news about how terrible things are in Iran, you don't need me to repeat it. But one of the themes that we've been hearing all day is that the Mullah's regime has to go and it will go. And that we all believe. But even though we know, but even though we know that Madame Rajavi and all of you wonderful people are going to someday be able to have this meeting in Tehran, nobody's been able to tell us exactly how the change is going to take place. Now, I'm not going to tell you that either. When we look at Iran, the question is, how will it come apart? We know now that the, the, the sanctions against Iran are the toughest sanctions that have ever been imposed on any country in the world. And we know they're hurting. We know there's a crisis now with the uprisings in, in Iraq and Syria, and Iran has issues, etc. We just don't really quite know how it will happen. But I think it is important for us all to understand that the break may come when we're least expecting it. And we have to accept the fact that we don't know how it's going to happen. And that's why we have to be ready. We have to be watching. Well, just earlier this month, the Foreign Minister of Canada, John Baird, published an article in Foreign Policy magazine where he reviewed the year of Rouhani's presidency and made it very clear that not only were no promises kept, but everything is worse and the betrayal is very severe. And you heard about it today. I don't have to tell you about twice as many executions and political prisoners and all of that kind of stuff. We know that. And all I can say to you is, you've got to keep looking, you've got to keep watching, because it may happen very quickly. I look out at this wonderful rally, and it reminds me about 21, 22 years ago, when I was running for leadership of my party. And there was a governing party in Canada. When I ran for the leadership, it looked a lot like this, but the hats were pink, because uh, if I won, I'd be the first woman Prime Minister of Canada. And every one of us here, every elected politician from a democracy that's been here today has been part of a rally like this. And we wave signs and you, you, know, you have funny noisemakers and you have crazy hats. But the nice thing about our experience is that we went from those rallies into election campaigns, into making our democratic institutions work. You don't have that, that luxury. You go from this wonderful rally back to the situation where you're watching, hoping, concerned about your countrymen and women. And all I can say is, it will happen. And this rally will be one day an election rally in Tehran. All I can say to you is, pay attention be brave and be ready. We'll be there with you.